What up, FTM Television? This is Sammy, your Wednesday guy. Um, this is week 28, and the um, topic is about our personal lives, um, whatever's going on in it. So, um, I have a really busy personal life. I just got done with... Monday was finals for me for this quarter, and I'm out of school for a month, which I am excited about. I have one more quarter of school left before I have my applied science degree in welding. And then um, I am transferring. I'm going to try to transfer to Evergreen because all I can focus on is social justice. I don't actually know how I'm going to get through next quarter because I was going to try to transfer to Evergreen next quarter. But I figure I have this bad habit of starting things and then not finishing. So I'm going to actually finish getting my applied science degree and then transfer and then go get my bachelor's Um the shitty thing about that is that I've been going to school for like two years, maybe a little bit longer. Um, for this applied science, I have about 100 credits. And um, when I finish, only about 35 of them are going to be transferable, which really sucks. I mean, it's just the shitty part about um, doing technical classes. Um, some other things that are happening in my life. Um, Friday will be one year on testosterone for me. Yay! Um, except for I still am not really growing any facial hair, which... It's kind of a bummer. I have gotten hairy um, so many other places, um, and surprisingly for being um, native and Asian, I am actually kind of hairy. I will, um, in fact, show you some, hopefully, show you my belly hair. I mean, I'm hairy in other places, I just not on my face. Um, and my hairline has been changing. It's gone back. Um, it used to not be like that. It used to just be round. Um, yeah. Anyway, some awesome things about that. Um, other than that, I've been really involved in the Occupy Wall Street movement, um, Occupy Olympia. Um, really involved in that and the People of Color um, working group I've been involved in and um, a few other things. I was camping for a while. Um, right now, um, yeah, there's definitely a lot of critiques about it. Um, and I am working towards changing. We are like one of the few few um, um, occupations like, or like camps that are still going on. A lot of the major cities have been shut down by coordinated um, police attacks and um, we are still standing. I think the state, we have some problems within the camp and I think the state is aware of that and is waiting for us to fizzle out. I am working on bringing proposals for safer spaces, for anti-oppression um, um, and various other things to um, make the space safer as, as well as having a policy on what to do with um, people who are oppressive and violent so and once that happens I mean if once we get the camp all together then uh, I'm sure the police are gonna try to kick us out um, right now they think that we're just gonna leave the weather has been getting down to about 20 degrees or so at night um, in the northwest luckily it hasn't been raining um, if it was, I'm pretty sure it'd either be a little bit warmer or it'd be snowing, um, which is fine. Um, another thing I've been seriously involved in is the um, December 12th uh, West Coast port shutdowns. Um, I've been heavily um, actively involved in organizing that for my small town um, in Olympia. We are between um, Seattle and Portland and... Um, I mean, we have a port here. It's not super active, but in to show solidarity, I've been organizing a lot of that. I have um, have played dry some posters or um, reclaimed them as our own and taken them. I will show you some. That's one of them. Um, and then the other one. Um, I am working with paint, so I don't have Photoshop or anything like that, or anything fancy, so I do the best that I can. I'm also creating a third poster, um, yeah, and generally I'm just fighting oppression every day the best that I can, um, and connecting, coordinating with people across this nation, which has been really awesome. I've gotten to make, um, some really amazing connections and stuff like that. Other than that, um, I don't really know what else I could be saying about um, My sister just got back from Iraq. I'm really excited about that. Um, and she is, I've been helping her move into her new apartment. She just got back um, the middle of last week. Um, so that's really cool. Um, and yeah, and she, I, the, the one thing that she was over there was just like, 
you have to get me a camel spider. You have to get me a camel spider. And um, apparently she succeeded. Um, it's in her stuff that's being shipped back. Um, so I'm happily awaiting that. It's, it's dead, of course, but um, how cool would it have been? I don't know what I would have fed it if it was still alive, but um really excited about that. I really love getting interesting creatures. Um, as some of you guys have seen my room, I have like I have like animal skulls and like pelts, um, or at least a rabbit pelt. I would like to get more pelts. I'd like and stuff like that um, for my my own room. I'm definitely a big um, fishing and hunting enthusiast. I can't. Um, own firearms because I'm a felon, but um, I want to learn how to bow hunt, which I uh, would be really awesome. Like get back to my roots <laughs> and um, do stuff like that. Um, other than that, the holidays are coming up. Um, I'm going to try to. I have work. I just need to do it to make money. Um, which reminds me, I really need to catch up on like work that I. I I do I because I go to school full time so I work for myself and I tend to manage people's properties uh, or landscape and do stuff like that I have two houses I need to catch up on that I've been slacking um other than that um yeah I haven't really been doing a whole lot um I'm building a structure for my camp right now um it's outside I'm at my friend James's house it's outside being painted um which is hard it's the paint it's hard to get the paint to dry because it's so cold outside but um yeah my my phone has died which sucks because it's hard for me to get a hold of people or interact with people that way and um yeah I think that's about it mm. Occupy Olympia is going good I really working on some proposals to change the name to decolonize um I know Oakland just recently just recently in the last like in the last week tried to change their name and that proposal failed because it lacked um consensus or i know they go by a modified consensus and it lacked the appropriate amount amount of approval to it was like um 60 something percent um yay uh, yeses and like 30 something percent no's so it lacked the modified consensus um, um amount necessary um but yeah just um Stuff like that. I'm really, really busy trying to organize this port shutdown. Um, trying to um, have some dialogue with our our local um, ILWU um, chapter um, and talk with those union members um, because we don't want to. Um, we understand that that unions can't necessarily endorse this, um, but we don't want to inhibit them in any way. If um, they aren't for it, I guess, because um, uh, I know the chapter here is historically, no or rumor has it that the chapter here is um, really conservative um, and might not, but um, I'm going to talk to them because they have um, certain aspects of their, their bylaws that um, talk talk about supporting, like, like um, labor movements and, and unions or, like, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, they have certain aspects of their bylaws, and I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to them about, and um, yeah, so that's really exciting. Um, Olympia has a history of having um, really violent port protests. I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Um, about what 2007, I think it was. We had a port protest um, because a lot of um, military vehicles were coming through and uh, being shipped out of our port, and uh, people shut down the ports and that ended up being a disaster where people were tear gassed, um, pepper sprayed, arrested and beaten. Um, really, really, yeah, it's, it, memory is still alive in many minds, mine included. Um, so we're hoping for something a little bit different, but um, if any of you guys live near the coast and, and a lot of other cities, I know Houston is um, doing a port action, I think it's Houston is doing a port action in solidarity, um, might not be Houston. I'm not quite sure, 100% sure. I don't have the information sitting in front of me. But I know that different cities across the union are doing, across the nation are um, doing solidarity acts. Um, but if you live near a West Coast port, I suggest you get involved. It's going to be an awesome day where the people are going to show solidarity and show its actual power. Because um, we as the people do have power. 
regardless of what you may or may not think. Um, so I'm really stoked about this. I'm really stoked about hitting Wall Street where it hurts in the wallets, um, in its um, front, on the waterfront. So yeah, I think that's about all I have to say. <laughs> um, if you guys could see me, I talk with my hands. My hands are really animated, but they are swinging underneath the camera. <laughs> so um, yeah, I hope you guys all have a great night, and I will talk to you soon.